adapting from a mouse and keyboard to a controller can take some time to get used to with the Steam Deck, especially in a first person shooter type game. Anything that requires precise controls can feel a bit clumsy on the Steam Deck when you're trying to use the thumbsticks. So if you can, try adapting to using the trackpad and see if that helps. This was able to help improve my aiming while replaying through Portal, and it should work in just about any game. However, there's also the situation of the thumbstick dead zones and how Valve has set this up out of the box. So if you prefer using the thumbsticks but just wish things were a bit more precise, then I can show you how to adjust this feature. First, we bring up this menu by pressing on the Steam button, and then we come all the way down to the Settings menu. Now, we're going to scroll through here until we get to the Controller section, and then you're going to look for the Calibration and Advanced Settings button. Let's go ahead and open that up. And right here, you should see the joystick section selected by default. And we can immediately begin adjusting the dead zone values for both the left and the right joysticks. For those who are unfamiliar, a thumbstick dead zone is a way for the software to eliminate any unintended movement. Some people feel that Valve's default value of 8192 is way too high and prevents the user from moving or aiming properly. And you can see that with the default setup. It takes quite a bit of movement on the joystick before we're able to escape the dead zones. So I found a thread in the Steam Deck subreddit suggesting that people drop this number all the way down to 2000. So after selecting the slider, we can move it all the way down, or we can increase it and move it up. And you can see how the dead zone gets smaller or larger, depending on what this value is set to. Now changing this all the way down to 2000 may end up being too low for some folks out there, but it should give you a good starting point to adjust things from. We can customize the dead zones for both the left and right Steam Deck joysticks on this screen here. So don't forget that you need to set both of them up if you want the dead zones to be identical. And after you have changed the dead zones for the Steam Deck thumbsticks, give it a spin in a game that you're familiar with. That way you can feel the difference and are able to adapt to the change more quickly.